Hi and welcome to the life. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life and we've got an amazing show today for you. We're going to be talking about prayer. You know it's such a wonderful topic to talk about and I know that it's going to be loaded. We've got so much in store for you so stay tuned. I'm excited. I'm sure you are too. God hears your prayers. Yes. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Really? How sure are you? 100%. He's 100% sure. So, do you want to give an example of a prayer's answer? Yeah, actually. Um, on last year, 2014, I was going through rough times, actually. And um, at the end of the day, like, with my A level, I ended up having an A star, an A, and a C. And, yeah, I was actually proud of that. I realized that it's still me that did it. What is the importance of prayer? I think to, it's like, I think it's very important because it's like that only person that understands you. So like when you need that extra guidance to help you say, God, da 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 da, and then I, like he will answer you in a certain way, then like, it's like your, your best friend. So when you need that extra guidance, that, that extra little help, like, she's there. Amazing! <laughs> Hey, Bear. What are you doing? Dad is doing an interview right now. Can you tell me a bedtime story? A bedtime story? Now? All right, real short. Once upon a time, uh, Daddy was at this grimy looking place with a bunch of guys. And they had fire, and it was just really wild, and it looked like they was getting ready to beat Daddy up. <laughs> bunch of big men and they looking real mean and, and uh, we go in and
you feel him, it's his glory Standing before thee, gotta tell the story Like I'm standing up on Maury Orange, not wanna sugarcoat it Jesus made me holy, I'm in the streets rolling Tell them what they told me, hold it Getting thick, are you listening? People dreaming dreams, prophesy, having vision Revival breaking out, people crying and repenting Thousands on foot, doing good street missions So listen Your fire got you feeling light and dotty Couldn't keep it to myself, I had to tell somebody Now I'm repping my Jehovah and I never say I'm sorry When I step up in the gates, I gotta give them thanks When I enter in this court, I gotta give them praise I ain't worried about a thing, cause I'm walking in faith Move mountains with my mind, I believe what I say Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah When I think about his goodness, it's just doing something to ya So excuse me, miss, I'm about to keep my shoe up and do my whole That he has placed his name upon your forehead And he calls you by his own name I say that God said if you call upon him the more That he will bless you the more I call you blessed I call you highly favored I call you a child of the most high God In Jesus name I speak these blessings on you now In the mighty name of Jesus Amen Watching the life and love of TV, I am Ame, hosting this part of the, of the show called Lit Up, where we share God's light on certain topics. We have a theme topic and we answer questions from our studio audience, as well as your questions. So if you have any questions you'd like to get, to get answered, feel free to message us on our Yukos or Facebook or Twitter page, even right now, it is on your screen. Now, um, as we already said earlier on, our theme topic today is prayer. And with me on set, I got Reverend Ridge of the Most High. We call him Reverend Ridge, but he's actually he's a great man of God. He's so he's full of wisdom, and he's going to help us give 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 light on this topic: prayer, prayer. Pastor called it a romance of righteousness. Well, we're going to go straight to the audience's questions. So, audience, over to you. First question. Hi, my name's Abby, and I was wondering why do people pray and then feel like they don't get answers? Why do people pray and feel like they don't get answers? Nice question. Thank you, Abby. Ev, would you actually share a bit on that? Well, some people don't pray and don't get answers because they ask amiss. They ask amiss. So mm -hmm. in other words, they don't ask according to the will of God. Okay. For example, say you ask God, do you want money? But if God gives you the money, what are you going to do with it? Mm -hmm. Make an offering? Your time? Or are you just going to use it for personal reasons? So can you be trusted with that result? Maybe. Yeah. Because said, um, you ask a miss, so you may consume your own lusts. Which is, well, as, as, your, as a father, really, would you give your children something that, I don't know, that might destroy them? Yeah. You wouldn't do that, would you? Mm. Mm. But he says, why do they feel like they don't get answers? Feeling. Feeling. Why do they feel like they don't get answers? Well, you see, you need to learn to train your spirit. Because, obviously, it's not a feeling. What? So you ask someone a question, for example, if I'm asking you a question now, I'll know that you give me a response. Mm -hmm. But obviously, when God talks to his children, he talks to them by his spirit. By his spirit. Sp spiritual communication, yes. Yeah. So yeah. if you're not feeling that they're saying, oh, don't feel answers, you need to train your spirit to receive answers. You have yeah. to train your spirit to receive answers by studying the word of God, by meditating and praying. Mm. So in other words, to hear him properly, you have to train yourself to hear him. Yeah. Right? Because obviously, God answers his children, answers prayers. <laughs> and if not, why would he ask, ask us to pray? Yeah. Right? So, why do they feel, why do they pray and feel like they don't get prayers? Well, you might need to train your spirit, first of all, to be able to hear what he has to say. And then again, your faith. I think your faith really comes into play there. Jesus said that when you pray, believe that you receive, and you have it. When you pray, did you believe you received? Are you still, are you still waiting for an answer? You see, you might already receive your answer, but you have 
well, you haven't received it. He's giving the answer, you haven't received it. So that's why you may feel like it's not there, but it's actually there. Many reasons. But yeah, why do we feel like we don't, we don't get our answer sometimes? Train your spirit to receive from God. Make sure you ask in line with God's word. And receive by faith. Because if you ask according to God's word, he hears you. And when he hears you, he answers always yes and amen. He gives it to you straight away. So receive it by faith. Thank you. Next question. Hi, my name is Rochelle. My question is, what is the difference between praying with understanding and praying with the Spirit? What's the difference between praying with the understanding and praying with the Spirit? Nice. Well, praying with um, the Spirit is praying in tongues. Okay. So I'm going to talk to you in English. Now, when I pray to God, I have, we have tongues, that's our language with our Heavenly Father. Mm. Now, praying with your understanding is praying with your mind. Um, your, with words you understand. With words you understand. Yeah. Like, um, with your understanding, your words are limited. And you can't make changes in the realm of the Spirit. Mm. As effectively as you should, we be able to with our, with our own language, you see. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Praying with the Spirit, praying with the understanding. The Bible says, um, <clears throat> this child shall follow them that believe in my name. That believe in my name that you cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. God gave us a new language to communicate. Yeah. We're meant to use it. You know? So, praying with the Spirit, having received the ability from God to speak in tongues, you pray from with that language from your spirit. That's what you're speaking in tongues. It sounds like gibberish. Yeah. Can you speak in tongues for me, please? It's, it's, a, it's an amazing language. It's, um, Paul said, when we speak in tongues, our understanding is unfruitful. We don't know what we're saying, but we can get an interpretation. Yeah. But anyways, the question was, what's the difference between praying in the Spirit and praying in the understanding? Thank you very much, Rochelle. I hope you got your answer. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, Oliver, do you have anything else to share on prayer? First of all, we need to understand what prayer is. There's many people when they think of prayer, I just want something from God. But prayer is having a conversation with God. Now I'm having a conversation with you now. Mm. That's what prayer is with the Heavenly Father. Prayer is having a, con a conversation with God. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Now many people when they think of prayer, what they think about asking God for something. Or they want something, I want God. Or if I'm facing a challenge, I want a breakthrough. There's some people who don't want a breakthrough. <laughs> Through what? <laughs> but yeah, okay. So it's not just it's not just asking for something really, there's more to it, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I remember Pastor Chris saying, Christianity is not a religion. He asked this simple question, he said, the relationship between you and your father at home, is it a religion? Sure. It's not. Yeah. It's a relationship, it's your father's a relationship. And like all relationships, you need communication, you need communication to make it work, for you to build on it, which is where prayer comes in. Yeah. Now, you pray a lot. I know, you send me prayers every Friday. Yeah. Praise God. Now, what have you benefited from prayer? Uh, prayer just been awesome. That even when I start my day, the first thing I do is pray. And when I pray, what pastor has taught us, when you pray, he sees. Mm. So when mm. I pray, I see. I can see into my day, my future. So you can see the future when you pray? Yeah. Ah, like time, time travel, right? Yeah. And you prepare things ahead. You had a testimony concerning that, didn't you? Yeah. Do you like that to share quickly? Yeah, one of my prayer points is like, that every morning, before I wake up, I'll pray and I meditate on Psalm 91. It um, talks about your protection, etc. Protection? Yeah. Okay. Then when I go throughout my day, I will sprint challenges when I'm approached by a few gang members. You know how to do, they ask you what area you're from, what are you doing here, blah, blah, blah. Mm. But obviously, for me, even when they approach me and they ask me all those sort of questions, I really know ahead, by the end of the day, I'm untouched. Mm. Why? Because I spoke to my Heavenly Father in the morning. And you secured the protection. And I secured my protection. Yes. And if I didn't do that in the morning, who knows what would happen? Who knows what would happen? Well, you might not even be here today. Exactly. Well, thank God for His grace and mercy. We have an open channel with Him. Yeah. And also, I think it's, it's important to point out that prayer is like feedback, especially when He's giving you responsibility. Yeah. He told you what to do. You, you obviously you have to give Him feedback. He says, go do this, you go do that, and then you get back to Him through prayer. And you have so much to benefit. You get your spirit lifted up so much. It's, it's amazing. I pray, and my prayer is not like, oh, a different kind of prayer, obviously. Yeah. But I, I like to pray as though I'm talking to my friend. So I'll be like, God, how you doing? <laughs> but, well, that's, that's just a basic level where we can get, you get deeper and deeper. And even when we pray, we receive from him. 
because he gives us answers, he gives us light into different things. It's amazing. Prayer is actually a very big subject, but we don't have enough time to cover everything right now. So, and we're going to leave it at that. We're going to leave it at that. So, all right. um, you guys have been watching and listening to us right now. The Bible says the entrance of God's word gives light. And this is lit up. Consider yourself lit up. Up next, we have a live performance from CSO. So, stay tuned. Possible, possible, possible. Just believe it's possible. Possible, anything is possible. Keep saying it, don't stop talking. Is God talking? Talking, talking, talking. You've been chosen to rule and reign. Rule and reign. It's your right, your right in Christ. Anything is possible. Just believe it's possible. Everything is possible. Just believe it's possible. The seed of Abraham is who we are. Peculiar people You've been called A call of greatness Separated onto the gospel oh, Anything Is possible Just believe Possible. Everything is possible. Just believe it's possible.
grew up in Willage in South East London where we were taught to carry guns and knives and sell Class A drugs at a young age. I mean, it was crazy. So young, but felt so wise. So young, but seen so much. Oh my days. At the age of 15, I already got involved with a, with a murder. I thought I was going to go to jail. Two of them are in jail right now for life, but I'm out here. They say it's luck, I call it grace. Wow, I didn't know what to say. I got invited to one conference called The Higher Life with Pastor Chris. They changed my destiny with three days. I went from a gang member to a preacher, passionate about the gospel. I made my mind up. I was going to tell the world, my world, about what God did for me. enjoyed today's show and I'm sure you've learned so much about prayer you know prayer gives you the power to change anything and everything you know prayer is what you need to make that change you desire prayer is what you need to impact lives prayer is your is your privilege it's your divine honor to be able to communicate with the most high God and you know you can do it anytime and anywhere how privileged we are how blessed we are to be able to pray you know I'm, I'm inspired I just feel like praying now hallelujah but anyway, thank you for watching and keep watching the live. you've been watching today and you've heard us talking about prayer you know and you've heard us talking about how you can communicate with God and hear from God you know maybe you've never been able to hear from God maybe you've never been able to communicate from him or hear from his spirit but do you know something he wants to talk to you he wants to guide you he wants to love you and show you that this is the way he wants to be your best friend he wants to be your father he wants to be everything that you could ever need in this life but you know it starts with having a relationship with him it starts with having faith in him, believing in him. You know, the Bible says that if you shall believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth Jesus' Lordship, then you shall be saved. And it's as simple as that. If you can believe that Jesus died for you, that he paid the price for you, and that when he paid that price, God raised him from the dead for your sake, and you believe that Jesus is Lord, that he's master, that there's all power in Jesus, that there's no name greater than his name, then you can receive salvation and enter into this glorious relationship with God where you can talk to him, where you can pray and receive answers. Because God doesn't call us to pray because he's just this, you know, egotistical being in the sky that just wants people to pray. But rather, he asks us to pray because he wants to answer. He asks us to pray because he wants to communicate with us and God wants to communicate with you. So you can start that relationship today. You can start a new life today. Just say this simple prayer. And as long as you believe these words in your heart, then surely you shall be saved. Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe in the Lord Jesus. I believe that he died for me. And I believe that God raised him from the dead for my sake. I declare that Jesus is the Lord of my life and I receive eternal life into my spirit. I am born again. I'm a new creation. And greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I am born again. And as simple as it is, that's all that it takes. If you have just said this prayer, let me tell you that your life 
will never be the same again. You might not know the gravity of it right now, but you have just made the best decision you could ever make, the most important decision for any man to make, because salvation is something that we all require, and you have just received it. So congratulations, welcome to your new life. Go, go to church, go and hear God's word, go and read the Bible, study God's word, get to know about this glorious life that you've been brought into, because as you've been watching the life, as you have said that prayer, you have now begun to live the life. So go and find out about your inheritance. Go and find out about what God has done for you. You are so blessed. Congratulations.